Namaste beautiful yogi, it's a quick hair care talk. I see a few of you were posting on beautiful yogis uh, about uh, parabens in your products and uh, I wanted to bring that to all of your attention. I'm sure most of you know to avoid parabens but do check your products for so that they don't have parabens in the ingredients list. Usually parabens would be one of the last ingredients so you can even read ingredients list from uh, backwards from the last ingredient up because usually the toxic ingredients end up towards the end since they're in smaller concentration than water in the ingredients list. I wanted to share with you a shampoo and conditioner that I'm in love with and then I will share the henna that I've been using. I really wanted to share the henna and I'll quickly tell you how I use my henna. So the shampoo and conditioner I'm in love with is this one, Giovanni Tangerine Papaya Butter Ultra Volume Conditioner. I'll list everything in the description below. Both the shampoo and the conditioner are so phenomenal. They're amazing. I finished two bottles of each and it's a, vol it's a volume condi conditioner but it doesn't make your hair fluffy. Uh, it just doesn't make it frizzy and big and fluffy. It just kind of maybe it gives it a little body or something like that it smells amazing and it's really good now on to the henna the shampoo i can't speak highly enough of i my hair really struggles with the california weather i have okay hair or good hair when i'm in a more humid environment and when i come here it just it is drying the the weather here is drying to my hair and also the fact that it's always in a ponytail and i'm always working out does not help but this shampoo has been amazing as far as providing nice moisture for my hair uh, it has a bunch of great ingredients it's organic it's uh, uh, vegetarian friendly no animal testing and so forth it has the bunny logo uh, for uh, no cruelty and so forth now on to the henna I like two brands now um, one of the brands I've shared with you before is rainbow research please ignore my hands they have henna on them <laughs> um, rainbow research and I've tried most of their colors this is bright red um, this is red and this one i decided to try as well I have never tried it strawberry blonde i'll let you know how this goes because everything i've been putting is a little darker than my color so i wanted to kind of get back to my uh, a little closer to my color and um one more uh, brand everything from amazon this brand is on amazon and it is free shipping on there it's um not sponsored it's um what's the brand name uh, the Henna King is the brand name and it has added ingredients to it. This particular one is for beard. It's the manly guy one, uh, but they have for women and for men. This one in particular had um, clay, red clay and um, a few herbs uh, in uh, amla uh, neem and a few other herbs in it so that's why i loved it and it's pretty it's dark red and it's pretty red and i liked it for my hair uh, i don't know uh if there is another one in particular that has all these uh herbs and uh clay added to it so i'll just list this one even though it says for men just don't worry about that <laughs> and just use it um and the way i use so like that's my new favorite i still like rainbow research and this brand so whichever brand you get you're not gonna regret it and this one in particular says vegan organic cruelty free chemical free preservative free no ppd which uh, try to avoid ppds no ammonia no peroxide no pesticides no metallic salts that's another big issue with hannah's um to make sure that you're getting a clean enough brand that doesn't have metallic salts in it add it like um for enhancing the redness in it so this one, this company um, does not have it, uh, comes with, they all come with gloves and hair cap and instructions. So I'll give you my instructions or how I use it and I'll keep this video short and sweet. Uh, so the way I use it, I grab the henna and I mix it with hot water and I leave it on the uh, oven uh on the stove because my stove the burner is always uh, it has a, a burner that's always on or pilot 
So I leave it on the oven for two hours so the color develops. I put a little bit of vinegar and mostly hot water and I mix it and I let it sit for two hours so the color completely develops. The way you know if the color develops is when you stir it, it forms a crust that's a little darker than the rest of it. It's starting, meaning that, that it's starting to develop. Um, once it's done, I add um, almost as much uh, quantity-wise uh, conditioner to it and a little more water so it's kind of watery and thin and I place it on my hair maybe for about usually for about one to two hours two hours if I'm busy doing stuff around I wouldn't even know I have hand in my hair and uh, and after that basically because of the conditioner it's very easy to rinse it off I just rinse it off and it comes off kind of it's the consistency of hair dye, so it's very easy to apply and very easy, very easy to rinse off. Right now, the color I have is this color, and it's very red in the sun. Uh, they, Rainbow Research and this uh, brand both have brown and black. If you don't like red in your hair, they both have no red colors, like um, auburn, light brown, dark brown, and black. Uh, and they're mostly based on indigo powder. And um, I think that's about it. To your henna, you can add if you're uh, if you want blonde highlights, chamomile. Uh, you can add wine, uh, berry juice, or any juice you have: blueberry juice, cherry juice, um, bee juice, any of those things for reddish color. Um, you can add red wine. You can add um, vinegar or lemon as your acid and coffee if you want a little darker and more on the brown darker side hair color um what else i think that's it um you can uh, also add uh, rosemary essential oil to it that also enhances hair growth and can give you a little more um uh a little more uh, shine to the hair and that's about it that's what I wanted to share with you as far as uh, hair care goes um, if you have some interesting ways you use henna let me know uh, in the comments below and uh, I'll see you soon with another um, video or I'm starting a beginner yoga series so I might see you first with the beginner yoga series and then with some other content Thanks for watching. Namaste.